Yo, so, uh, just gonna quickly post this now. This is only gonna be part of the video. Probably gonna cut forward to, you know, current day me when I'm actually making the video. But anyways, we unlocked Mila. I immediately pushed her to level 50. I absolutely adore this character so much. We, uh, grinded ahead of time the abilities, so I'm just gonna load that in now. The main thing that we have to do now is we need to work on the glyphs. Now, we did get our guard pretty high with the glyphs. This is kind of a slow thing, but anyways. We're up to three. We'll be pushing to four, but we need to go grind them, obviously. We'll use meal coupons for it. Ability, we're going to be able to max this out, so... Doing this ahead of time was pretty nice. But yeah, that's just a quick status update. We, she will be stuck at 50 for a while because Hydrusia is definitely more important to get to 60 at the moment. But having this team right here seems pretty solid. I, I'm i not sure about Urzag. I'll be honest with you, like... I'm, not, I'm just kind of disappointed in what he's pushing out. I, I Maybe it's just the gear setup that I have. Maybe it's just, I don't know, the team setup I have. But he just... I was expecting him to kind of be like a... Fight me face to face. Sorry, that's really loud, but yeah, I was kind of expecting more damage coming out of him. Which, you know, given this, he's an AAA, I guess I shouldn't have expected much seeing how he's not S. He's an epic, but... So I thought that this passive, for example, I thought maybe it could be ignored, I guess is what I should say. Right now he doesn't have that greatest gear. I, I just swapped it out. But I thought maybe that's just like an added bonus to his kit. But now I'm starting to think that maybe you actually need to play around this trait. And that would definitely require manual mode. So even when just grinding, not a big, not the biggest thing. I guess I could have increased his abilities a little bit more. But usually I get like a feel for it already. So it would be a little bit nicer to, you know, feel more from him. But we do have the other characters. Um, I, it's going to be kind of tough to decide on who to invest in fully. It is my duty to because, serve. yeah, like the, book of the water present. ones. I already have water invested in. Few survive my blade dance. I mentioned that Irondil kind of seems basic, and I still, I still stand by that. But maybe he is worth investing in to have a grass. And, you know, Urzag still would be good for grass anyways, so we'd have, we'd have a, what, elemental bonus against water, which would be nice. So it's not like he's gone to waste by any means. I'm not upset. It's just for a main team, just grinding and everything, I'm just not, I'm not impressed by Urzag. And Melissa, I, I don't know what I was thinking with her either. She just doesn't put out what I wanted her to. I think she might be decent with Arena because she removes the positive effect and then makes it so that they can't get buffed but then also she deals extra damage against that but that means that she needs to be invested in more and honestly I wasn't quite feeling it with her. She's level 40 right now and I didn't want to push her to 50. I've been sitting on this because it was supposed to be this character kind of deciding it but I knew that Milo was going to go into the team. I absolutely adore all three of these characters. And then Urzag was my fourth, but Urzag's not impressive to me. Honestly, even Kane might be a good replacement, but uh, one person had mentioned in the comments to not sit on Connor. So Connor's another one here. There is only one true lord of Arelica. Which, honestly, having the straight attack plus 10 and we'll get the attack plus 20. And he's also, we can get the Ascension pretty nice. Just from the regular stuff, so... You know, getting this up would be pretty nice and gnarly. But, I mean, he might be a good option. The shield, attack up. The attack up's just for him, right? No, it's not. Okay. 30%, and then if you get it to level 4, it's a 100% damage for auto. That's definitely needed. Shield strength enhanced. He has all team members. Healing skills with his character's attack. You know, honestly, thank you. 
the buddy that commented that I shouldn't be sleeping on Connor. He's fire. He could definitely fit into the team. There's a few other people too that I'm going to look through their kits. But you know, present day Michael when he comes forward. Or present day Arrow when he comes forward. You know, he'll, he'll update what my decisions were. But I just wanted to quickly get this out about Myla. Before pushing forward to the next part of the video. Because god dang. Look at her. She's so fun. Alright. See you now in the future. Bye. Hello. So it's present day me. Wow. Hello. Yay. I just um, I just revisited the video of my update with Myla. So here we are. And our team. Yeah. It has solidified. We have a six starred Hydrissia. That's pretty pog, right? Uh, we have three. Uh, okay, I had to make sure three. Uh, we can get this one up too, so it's four to make uh, another sixty. It, you know, I'm on the fence between Myla or Kane. I really like Myla, but I think Kane might be a little bit better to push for sixty first. I'm not. I'm not sure. But either way, this is the team we're we're with right now. Urzag, like I said in past me, I am going to be replacing. Uh, I've I've gotten another tip that. Uh, Nathalia, yeah, is a very good epic, one of the better ones. Looking at her skills, I kind of do see where it comes from. So we might, we might work on Nathalia. We might. Again, though, uh, it she's water, and that's where the um, hesitation comes from. Really, it's just how I already have waters invested in. Uh, Connor is another one that we're kind of sitting on. And I think this is going to be a character that we work on. He might make it into the team. The thing is, I really don't like how he looks. So I... Yeah, it's just I really don't like the way he looks. However, we might anyways, just so that we can push some content, you know? Uh, I've been trying to get these ascensions. So I'm making this video now because I wanted to wait until Rookie Event was towards its end to see where I'm going to end up. And I was a little bit wrong. I kind of overshot my ability of where I'm going to end. So let me show that real quick. So day seven, it's ending in three hours. I'm not going to be able to do any of this. Like, uh, I could do four heroes reach glyph tier four, but that means I'm going to be putting it into Urzeg. And Urzeg right now I'm kind of on the fence with. So I don't feel like it's worth the meal coupon just to put so much energy, which is going to be way more than the meal coupon, mind you, to make sure I get glyph tier four. Clearing all adventure stages on hard, I might have been able to do it by using the support system sooner. I didn't really take advantage of that. Obtain 10 items of 6 star gear, that's just, I don't know, that just isn't really possible. Synthesize a hero, another thing which, I, I get the synthesize system, maybe I miss, maybe there's an easier way to do it than what I was looking at, but it just didn't seem viable. It's very RNG based. And clear floor 50, I can show that real quick where I ended up. Uh, 43, I mean, I might try to push this a little bit more, but I don't think we're going to be able to get to 50 because I struggled with 43 already. Uh, this might all be due to the fact that, you know, I invested in maybe the wrong characters, maybe the gear isn't quite there, who knows. Nonetheless, it's not a big deal to me. It is what it is. When I hit 20, we got this. I didn't claim it yet, but yeah. So level 20 gets you a 4-star pumpkin and a 10,000 jelly. We're going to take that now. Oh, what's this? Never mind. It was, maybe it was a 10 that I got for that. All right. You train your heroes to meet the challenges ahead. We get another one. Okay. I thought there was only one box there. Well, look at that. That's a lot more than I thought. Uh, let's check the tavern real quick. Uh, you know, just... Let's buy all of this. I don't see a reason not to. The money has been steadily going up. Eventually, maybe we don't want to stop, but nonetheless, it is what it is. So, Alter. This is the synthesized thing. I was looking at this, and we can get him to two-star ascension. We can get him not... We can get him to 30. We can get this guy to two-star, and we can only get him to 30. And I don't see another way to get them up. And then over here, we only have one there, and then I think it's one and two? Oh no, yeah, two. We got CC up to there, but... It's just, I'm always missing just one, you know? Like, he's three-star, but that doesn't really do much. 
We don't even have him. Synthesis for Tuzago, Arcane Dungeon, Summon. Yeah, so Arcane Dungeon. Oh yeah, see we do. It's just so. It's tough. It's tough to see what we can do really. Uh, and other than this synthesize, I was thinking maybe. Where is? Oh no, it's not in here. It's uh, over here. So in our in your bag, you collect matrixes. Which can synthesis for Vidar, right? You need 40 of these to synthesize for it. And I, again, there is no way I'm getting 40 of any of these. So I'm not sure what I was meant to do to get that during the rookie event. Genuinely, unless I were to spend money on normal summons, I guess? Which, I don't even know if you can. But yeah, so I mean, I'm going to try doing the Void Tower a little bit more. So maybe we can get that, but... I'm just updating now to say, like, I don't want to bash the game by any means, but the rookie challenge, I feel really should be something that, as a new player, you're able to clear. I have definitely played this game more than what I would say a very casual player would be. And it's just, it's not quite what I thought it would be, you know? But these things right here might turn somebody off to the game. So that's all I wanted to say. Just a word of warning, if you will. Also, I'm going to post it in the description, but I didn't claim these yet. You get all these goodies from using some codes. You have it, that's pretty cool. So yeah, we... Okay, Zach. But yeah, 100... Diamonds, 100,000 Jelly, 3 Advanced Summons, 3 Advanced Summons, Abbott, and Zachary, which the codes will be posted in the description if you want to use it, but it's a good little jump start. I didn't notice about them before. They posted the codes in the official Discord, so in case you stumble on this video and don't use Discord, there it is. Uh, our guild, we are progressing as much as we can. It seems like these people are pretty cool, and by that I mean I don't know a single person has talked yet in the guild, but you know, it is what it is. Otherwise, I guess I can see... Okay, we don't look at Arena, that's embarrassing. It's been something I've been neglecting, I shouldn't, I know. Adventure, where we're at right now. So on hard, we are pushing into chapter 9, and again, if I use the friend system i might be able to get there but i don't think it's quite worth it on normal we've completely finished all of it however i do want to mention that in chapter two you are hit with 2s1 this thing right here took me a very long time i don't want to say it was too hard but for chapter two i think it might be a bit much maybe this should be like a chapter four plus thing but nonetheless, that is where we are at currently, our events that we have going on. Because I pushed Hydrissia uh, to 6, we got a lot of promotion going on and 45.50 out of 8k so that we can get the two advanced summoning crystals. I don't know if we're quite going to be able to get there, but I would like to. There was some cool stuff on our way that definitely helped with the rest. I would like to at least get to 6k I think for summons yeah 6k would be a spot that I'm I'm happy about you know I'm pretty content with but we will definitely be pushing as far as we can I'll update if we got that or not and I think that's pretty much it right now I just want to update this because of the rookie event ending but thank you for stopping by and until next time think that's going to be it. Take care guys. Have a great day.